Now it's time to meet our first 2022 SCI Idealist Award recipient. For our introduction, I'm going to call upon the honoree's best friend, Omar Cabrera. Thank you, Jennifer. First, let me start by congratulating all the recipients of this amazing award. Luckily, I only have one or two minutes because uh, for his wedding, he told me I spoke too long during my best man speech, so I promise to keep it short. <laughs> but it's my honor to present this award to not only my best friend, but to my brother from another mother. I could go on and share many personal and professional stories about Juanito, as I call him. But I will keep it simple and just say that when it comes to leadership, connecting diverse individuals and bringing people together, whether it's through his huge uh, group of friends or career, no one does it better than Juan. But I'd rather tell you a quick story about Juan the person so you can all see what type of individual he is. Juan and I have known each other for 30 years since that eighth grade to be exact. And as I mentioned earlier, I was the best man at his wedding. I'm also fortunate to be the godfather of his beautiful daughter, Ana Sofia. And I get to complete the trifecta today by presenting him with this amazing award. But the story I wanted to share with you is what my mother told me once about Juan. Long time ago, she said, hijo, if you one day have kids, I hope they are just like Juan, a very kind, humble, and big hearted person. And I don't think any praise can get bigger than that coming from your mother. Because of that, because of this, this is the type of person Juanito is. And that's why it is my honor to present him with this award. In the words of his beloved dad, a una mejor persona, imposible. To a better person, impossible. Juanito, congratulations, hermano. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, I knew well. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you, compadre. Um, let me collect myself here. Uh, but uh, it's great to see so many people um, who I hold in such high regard, who I love. Um, and thank you, compadre. I knew it had to be you to, to, to do this uh, when, when I was asked to, to select someone. Uh, it had to be my compadre, which if you're not familiar with the phrase, the term in Spanish, um, it refers to, uh, it's, it's a term that's used to refer uh, to someone who's the godfather to your son or daughter, as, as someone mentioned, he's the godfather to Ana Sofia. Uh, and uh, so thank you for those very beautiful, kind words. Um, you know, and I think about today, I honestly wouldn't be here if it weren't for the support of so many. Um, my wife is on uh, I think with at least one of our kids. I think my daughter, she had a drop of Juan David. He's the new Juanito, uh, Juan, Juan Senior now. But um, uh, with Juanito, uh, had to take him to school. My mom and sisters are on. I think my cousin who's visiting from Colombia is on. Uh, a lot of people who mean so much to me and, and most importantly to my late dad, who's my biggest uh, inspiration every day. Um, I, I also see a lot of my colleagues from Bethesda Lee Hell. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for believing in me. It's, uh, it'll be almost a year since I started in my role at Bethesda Lee Health as an inaugural Chief Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Officer, uh, a role that I don't take uh, lightly. Uh, it is a, a significant responsibility um, uh, for the important work that, that we're all doing in community. Uh, thank you, SCI and David, for your leadership. Um, I saw Alberto Calvo, who is the origin, original person who introduced me to SCI. He's over there at Compadre, Compadre uh, Grocery Store in Chelsea. I think it was, that's where I saw you uh, in the photo there, Alberto. Uh, and, uh, you know, SCI is focused on, on building social capital to foster youth success and healthy communities as commendable. Um, you know, I've been very impressed and uh, uh, mentioned earlier some of the programs. You know, I've been very impressed with the efforts around vaccine equity that SCI has had. The program called the uh, Leaders for Equitable Tomorrow, which uh, is a program that engages teens in exploring and developing action plans to, to address the intersection between racism and mental health. And those two are critical issues uh, in our current times. Uh, the impactful work uh, of SEI is really well aligned with Beth Israel Lady Health's mission. And today I'm, I'm honored, grateful, and quite frankly, humbled to be recognized with two people who I admire deeply, Dr. Makiba McCreary and James Morton. 
simply just being within your company is a recognition in and of itself. Um, and the theme, as was mentioned earlier today, is cultivating connections. And it could not be a better way to celebrate the great work that SCI does, bringing people with diverse lived experiences towards a common purpose for strengthening communities. Uh, cultivating connections is frankly the only way I've been able to get to where I am today. There have been too many mentors, friends, bosses, uh, colleagues who along the way have opened up their networks to allow me in. I think of friends who allowed me and my family in when we first came to the US from Columbia in 1990 to live in a crowded apartment in Brighton. Uh, I think of the community health centers who allowed us in and provided care when we did not have health insurance as former um, documented immigrants. I think of um, a name that some of you may have heard, Steve Pemberton, who ran for center in Massachusetts and opened the doors for me to get a full academic scholarship when he worked in the admissions office at Boston College way back in 1994. I only know, knew about this uh, uh, just a few years ago when I, I was grabbing lunch with Steve and he remembered my name. This is when I was working at Tufts Helpline and we brought him in to, to give uh, remarks to one of our resource groups. He remembered my name uh, and, and, he, and he said uh, that he actually uh, turned a blind eye and accepted me, even though he wasn't supposed to because of my immigration status at the time uh, and allowed me to Boston College for an education that has gotten me to where I am today. I think of leaders like Bob Rivers, Eastern Bank CEO. He's a former recipient of this award who leverages his position of influence and privilege to open so many doors and, and the list goes on. Uh, the, the, this idealist award is, is one that I humbly accept but respectfully dedicate to a particular connection that was formed over the past few months and was publicly announced this past Monday. On Monday at the Dimmick Center in Roxbury, a group of more than 40 and actually since Monday, now there's more than 50 because so many have signed on uh, Black and Latinx leaders, uh, including uh, Makiba, who's, who's going to be uh, recognized along with me, um, and many others who are part of this uh, newly launched Health Equity Compact. And in case you missed the coverage, uh, Globe had a story and WDR, the other outlets have had stories about it. Is uh, This group is a diverse set of healthcare business and nonprofit leaders who have come together to for the first time, may systemic change in healthcare to address the significant disparities that COVID laid bare, which resulted in more of our communities testing positive for COVID, being hospitalized and dying from COVID. And it's about a year ago, within the span of a few weeks, my father-in-law, David Herrera, my uncle on my mom's side, my mom is on right now, um, my uncle Ivan, uh, my mom's brother, uh, and my uncle and my dad, Sai Bernardo Lopera, uh, all died of COVID within the span of a few weeks. So addressing health inequities is personal to all of us who are part of this compact that I mentioned. So I dedicate this recognition to the Health Equity Compact because it exemplifies what SEI is all about, cultivating connections to strengthen community. So with that, I say thank you, thank you. Muchas, muchas gracias. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations, Juan. What a well-deserved recognition and your dedication there. Um, this is a, a really important health compact. So thank you for, for sharing about it today. Uh, one more thank you to our gold level sponsors, uh, Beth Israel Leahy Health, Cummings Properties, Eastern Bank, Liberty Mutual Insurance, and Point32 Health Foundation. Thank you all for your support of SCI and for supporting our amazing honorees, Juan, Makiba, and James.